Hello, this is Lauren with Kingdom Web Services, and in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to add new events to your events calendar. As I said in a previous tutorial, events calendars are considered components of your Kingdom built website. So to begin adding new events to your events calendar, using this main menu across the top portion of the back end of your website, we're going to click Components. And from the list of components, we are going to select J Events. Once we click Components and then select J Events, we'll be brought to this J Events control panel. To begin adding new events to your calendar, we're going to click the second option, which is labeled Manage Events, and has the number 23 calendar page icon. Once we click Manage Events, you'll see we'll be brought here to this Event Summary area. To begin adding new events, we're going to click the green New button in the upper left-hand corner. Which brings us to the Create an Event page, where you will add the details of the event you wish to add to your calendar. Starting with Title. This is the title of your event. The next four items never change. Your username will show here when you are logged in. Your category is default. Access level is public, otherwise members of the public won't be able to view your calendar. And the state of your event is published. If that were to be changed to unpublished, your event wouldn't show on your calendar at all. After you get the title added, skipping over the next four items, you have the option to add an event description. This can be used to provide more details on the event you're adding to your calendar. And you'll notice it's uh, that familiar word processing box, so you can format this text any way you wish. After you get your event title and the optional event description added to this area, then we're going to go ahead and click the Calendar tab, which is where you set your start date and time. Coming down to Start Date, simply click the mini calendar icon and then click the date that you want this event to fall on on your calendar. Then you set your start time by typing in the beginning time of your event, selecting AM or PM. The end date of your new event automatically sets to reflect the same day as the start. And then we come to end time, where you can choose to put in a set end time by typing in that information or if it's an event that really has no end time, say like a picnic or something like that, you could always use this No Specific End Time button simply by checking that box, which just takes that option off the table. If you have events that will be occurring weekly at the same time, you can set those events for a repeat, a repeat type of weekly. You'll see once I click the repeat type of weekly, it gives us access to some more repeat options that we need to set. Repeat interval is the number of weeks in between events. If we keep this at one week, this event will show every one week on your calendar, meaning it's a true weekly event. If this were an event that happened every other week, we could change that value to 2. If it's something that happened every 3 weeks, you would change it to 3. 
After you get the repeat interval set, then we need to set the repeat count. With J events, you can have events repeating on your calendar for up to two years. So since this is a weekly event that will go on for a long time, we can set this repeat to go for 104 weeks. Which brings us to by day. The current day of the week is usually selected, but I scheduled this event to happen on Friday. So I'm going to unselect Wednesday and be sure I select Friday. So on this calendar tab, we selected our start date and time, selected no specific end time, and then we actually went further to set a weekly repeat to happen every week for 104 weeks on Friday. We're done with this event. In order for this to show on your website calendar, we of course need to save our work in the back end. You can do this by clicking the green Save button, or the Save and Close, or Save and New if you have a few events you'd like to add it to your calendar at this time. I'm going to click the Save and Close button. Now I can go back out to that website and refresh the page. And you'll see that sample event that I added is now appearing on the calendar and it has begun to repeat every week. If I click to open the event, that is where that event description text comes in that you can enter with the event title. If you ever need to take an event out of your calendar, from this events page, you'd simply click uh, the box to the left of the event title, and then from the row of buttons here, select trash. Once an event is erased from your event summary, it no longer shows on your website calendar.